Hey, what's up? Today I'm gonna be making another bag. I think my last three, four, maybe five projects. I think they've all been bags. This is my most recent one. It's a small bag. It's got uh, these two sides, but then it also opens up. And it's got some artwork inside, and you can also wear it like this. You know, like. You could pretty much wear it like this with the design out or you could wear it closed and that was yesterday's project today i'm gonna be making another cross body bag it's gonna not it's not gonna be small like that one it's most likely gonna be a big one like this one right here so i just dropped my paint brushes and i just dropped my phone Anyways, I got a parachute buckle, strap adjusters, fox leather buckle, and I got shoulder strap material. This one's brown. For my base of my project, I'm gonna be using a pair of khakis. Um, just a simple pair that I got from Goodwill. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these pants but I'm gonna cut them at the bottom of this side pocket. And I'm gonna do that for both sides because I want these pockets on the bag, so I'm gonna save them. So I wanna have more room to work with, so I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut them on the inside right here. You see the seam? I'm gonna cut on the inside of the legs on both sides. And then after that, I'm gonna cut from the crotch all the way to the belt buckle, the belt loop, okay? And that's gonna really open the, the, the pants up and allow me to have a lot more room to work with. See, now you can see they've been cut and it's a lot more room that I have to work with now. So I'm gonna be adding paint maybe Maybe, might actually use this sole shirt. Maybe, we'll see. So I have this fabric <clears throat> from this project I used for Cartier Chris. And I'm actually gonna use it for this one too. So, uh, it's got some abstract placements. Uh, with some holes that still allow me to access the pockets. So now I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pin these on so we can get them sewn, okay? I'm looking for that, sort of like these pants that I'm wearing right now. The extra f fabric -y, like, loose look. That's exactly what I'm going for on the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish pinning this and then we'll get to sewing it. Okay, so I just finished sewing my patches on for both sides. So now I'm doing some paint work. I added paint work to the other side already. So I'm doing white lines on this brown baseline. And then I'm gonna go with the cobalt blue on top of the white, but not entirely, just little marks so you can see the brown, white, and the blue. But yeah, right now this is what I'm working with. So, some abstract work. And then I did stars, and then I wrote nines on this side. I wrote nine nines because you know we stay angel protected. That's how that's how we are over here. But yeah, I'm pretty much almost done with the bag. Keyword almost. I still have a couple of stuff to do, but. 
I feel like the complex parts are out the way, so we're gonna go ahead and move forward. I'm gonna let the white paint dry for a bit. That way I can paint the blue on top of it. After that, I'm gonna sew the bag shut by flipping it inside out. And then we're gonna add the straps and all that stuff. But for now, let this dry. Okay, so here's where we're at so far. So the bag is all painted and sewn up. Um, what I actually did was I sewed the shoulder strap in between the buttons. And now when I close it, it's gonna be right, it's gonna be right in between, um, right like right in the zippers area. Um, so that's pretty cool. Pretty nice spot to just place it in, you know. And now I'm gonna add my parachute buckle and all my other stuff. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do next. I have, where did they go? They're right here. So I always like to add the parachute buckle to the front side of the bag. So the bag is gonna, whether you're wearing it like this or like this, ideally, this is gonna be the front side of, but if somebody wants to wear the other side on this specific side, then they can do that too, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the parachute buckle. I'm just gonna cut like right here so I can add that. Basically, there's two sides to this uh, parachute buckle. One second. There's a side with two or three. Yep, that's two slots. And then there's a slide with one. Okay, so for this side, I'm going to attach the side with one. And then I'm going to sew it shut like that. Very simple. There it is. Now I'm just gonna add the strap adjuster. So what I'm doing is I'm, see there's three. One, two, three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the middle one first. And then it's gonna go over onto this side. Okay, now what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna start connecting it here. So, in and out. And then now we have the strap adjuster, right? Now I'm gonna go back into this first one and then out that open one, so. In the first one, out the second one. There you go. See, now all that's left to do is just sew this end onto the other side of the bag. Which is gonna be right here where the size tag is. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna throw it on so you guys can see what it looks like while I'm wearing it. Now I forgot, we're almost done. I, I just need to add this um, like leather strap, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing beats that feeling of standing up and stretching <clears throat> after sitting down and being on the sewing machine for so long. Whew. Man, that feels good. Yeah, this is it, guys. We done. We done. We done did it again. We're gonna do it again. Get a close up, okay? And you can still access the pockets too, which is a cool part. See, I intentionally left it to where you can reach the pockets. And it's like that for both sides, see? Mm. 
Bam, here's the other pocket, and then boom, there's the last pocket. We got stars and nine, nines. And then right here, a failure's true power. Inspired by Naruto. That's the bag, guys. Just want to say um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Uh, I really appreciate you. Um, go ahead and like it, this video. I'd appreciate that. And if you have any questions, um, go ahead and comment, and I'll be able to, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability for you. Uh, if you have any creative projects you're looking to do yourself. I say good luck and don't second doubt yourself. Go for that shit.